panda bears. Fat, cute, cuddly, adorable, fluffy, dumb, a waste of conservation money, and killing off other endangered species. We see only what we choose to see, and that's what's on the surface. There is a much darker world behind this endangered species, and we must ask questions. Why is this species endangered, and what does it have to do with 160 million people in China still in poverty? ABC News journalist Ned Potter last updated January 10, 2014, looked into Panda Bears Conservatory in America and found that we spend half a million dollars just on a single panda bear to rent them from China for one year. This makes panda bears the number one most expensive animal in American zoo. Lu Zi, a panda bear expert from Beijing, said, trying to reintroduce a panda bear to, into the wild is as pointless as taking off your pants in order to fart. <laughs> panda bears are the cause of their own extinction, and we are no better by prolonging their demise. Today, I will talk about how we're wastefully spending conservation money on panda bears. Secondly, how we are interfering with prolonging their existence. And last, the solution to fix a problem. Panda bears are a waste of conservation money. According to Craig Kasdoff, an endangered species specialist, the number of extinct species have reached 785 and further 65 are found in captivity. And America choose to choose one specific creature to put most of their conservatory money into just because they are the cute animal. So, Panda bears are a waste of conservation money. It costs a lot of money in order to take care of the species and in order to um, take them into American zoos, and it's just a waste of a dollar. It costs half a million dollars just to carry a panda bear, and we have to negotiate, so it could run from anywhere from $250,000 to $500,000 just for a single year, but the, low, but the shortest amount of time you can carry a panda bear is for 10 years, and that is $10 million for a single panda bear. It costs another half a million dollars in order just for a panda bear to have a cup, which we still don't own, and it still has to go back to China. It also costs half a million dollars just for maintenance, such as bathing, feeding, and just overall care of the panda bear. It's just wasteful spending. Panda bears only ovulate one time out of the year, and when I say one time, I mean only four hours out of that day. Parents also can only care for one cub at a time. The other cub they'll leave into the wilderness and leave to die. They cannot survive in the wild alone. A great example is, and the scientists in the Panda Bear Conservatory in Beijing said they released a panda bear into the wild. The panda bear was so terrified, it climbed up into a tree and stayed up there until it was exhausted, fell out of the tree, and died. They also have bad eating habits. All they eat is bamboo. They eat 40 pounds of bamboo a day, and it has no nutritional values to it. It's hard for them to digest, and they basically crap out splinters. <laughs> Human interference is, we are no better by interfering with these panda bears. We take extreme measures, and we can't even have them rehabilitate to their natural habitats. One of the extreme measures we take is panda porn, and yes, panda porn. We show other panda bears, um, two pandas having sex, just so they could basically do the same act that they are doing. Scientists also give panda bears Viagra, so that to increase their sex drive. They are uh, most popular is artificial insemination. Basically, they give a male panda bear, they hold on to their sperm, basically inseminating to the female panda bear. Another thing they do is they also dress up as pandas. So what they do, they'll dress as pandas, go out in front of the pandas, and show them how to have sex, and also how to feed their youngs. We fail to rehabilitate these panda bears. If you see on this map, the pale green area is what used to be panda bears' um, natural habitat. Where the red is, that's what we have left. There is less than 5% left of China, uh, panda bear's natural habitat, and that is caused by China's overpopulation. Some of the solutions we could do in order to fix this problem is we must spread the conservation money out to other animals. There are less black rhinos and elephants in these zoos. 
and we decide to put more money into the panda bear. But if we spread out all of the, if we spread the money out to every one of these animals that have a better chance of surviving when they are released into the wild, I think we'll have a better chance of keeping um, keeping most of our endangered species alive. So basically, sacrifice one in order to save many. We can't fight nature's cause. Panda bears are the reason for their own extinction. They can't reproduce because they only ovulate, like I said earlier, four hours out of the day, one time out of the year. They have bad eating habits, and they cannot survive in the wild alone. The money China receives for panda bears goes straight to the government, and there are 160 million people in China still in poverty today. And all that money is going towards the China, to the panda bear, basically becoming a business, breeding panda bears and letting other countries rent them out. Now that I talked about the wasteful money that we spent on panda bears, now we are pro and prolonging their existence and how conservatories can better spend their money, I really hope I opened up your, um, your eyes to the problem at hand. You and I must take action into, support, into not supporting this cause. One way we could do this is when you go to, to, um, to any American zoos, there are actually kiosks are at the front desk where you can actually donate money to certain parts of the zoos. Most people donated to the panda bears, but let's bring it out to the other animals. I am not a panda bear hater. I love all creatures, so I don't want to deliver the wrong message. But I strongly believe that they can't survive on their own and basically fix what we break and let nature take its course.